Guinean prosecutors in a landmark trial over a 2009 massacre on Wednesday called for former Guinean leader Musa Dedis Kamara and six government officials to be sentenced to life imprisonment. The chief prosecutor, al Gassimu Diallo, asked that the sentence be accompanied by a 30 years non-participation period for seven defendants, one of whom is being tried in absentia and other at large. The prosecutor also requested that the charges be reclassified as crimes against humanity through murder, assassination, torture, kidnapping, and rape. On September 28, 2009, and in the days that followed, members of the Presidential Guard, soldiers, police, and militias brutally suppressed an opposition rally in a stadium on the outskirts of the capital Conakry. According to a UN-mandated commission of inquiry, at least 156 people were killed, 109 women raped, and hundreds injured, in one of the darkest chapters in the West African country's history. The prosecutor accused the Camara of failing to prevent the actions of the men under his command. He also requested sentences of 15 years imprisonment for three other defendants and 40 years imprisonment for two others for less serious offenses. The trial is due to continue on May 27 to hear the defense case.